This begins our team coverage with a look at what happened and where we go from here. Lou. Well, Lauren, I spoke today with community leaders and city leaders, and everyone acknowledges that it is a lack of trust in the Minneapolis Police Department that led to such an extreme reaction last night to what actually was misinformation. But they say that today and tonight, lawlessness will no longer be tolerated. Brit's pub torched. Several downtown Minneapolis businesses looted. And angry standoffs with police past midnight. You go back to Europe! All after misinformation spread. Police say a suspected murderer they were chasing with guns drawn shot himself in the head. Rumors spread that MPD had shot a black man. After MPD released video of the suicide, community leaders like King Demetrius Pendleton started showing it to people to try to stop the looting. And once I got the word, I let everybody know, look, this was a self-inflicted gunshot wound. If Minneapolis hadn't released the video, Pendleton believes Wednesday night would have been much worse. This town will literally have burned. These individuals were not peacefully protesting or assembling. They were looting. They were creating vandalism. They were burglarizing, trying to uh, uh, set buildings ablaze. I will not tolerate that. The response from city and state leaders was swifter than following the death of George Floyd. They say they've been formulating these plans ever since. Chief Madera Arredondo strongly differentiated the looting from the ongoing calls for police reform. And it's shameful that anyone would ever try to equate the actions last night with Mr. George Floyd. With an 8 p.m. curfew and help from the National Guard and State Patrol, Arredondo, Mayor Jacob Fry, and other city leaders say if needed again, traffic to downtown will be limited and people will be arrested. And take a quick look at what's going on behind me here. This is the Target at the Nicola Mall being boarded up right now. All the windows of businesses all around downtown have been boarded up all day long, just in case there's a repeat of what happened last night. Uh, the sheriff's department says there were 132 people arrested, charges like burglary and rioting. And National Guard already has a presence here downtown. There are troops and uh, Humvees and other National Guard vehicles here uh, to make their presence known going into tonight with that 8 p.m. curfew and no one really knowing what's going to happen then. Back to you. All right, Lou, thank you for keeping us posted. So many businesses on Nicolette Mall suffered damage and looting. Many big chain stores like Nordstrom Rack and Target, but also small family-owned shops that are now left to pick up the pieces. Devon Roming spoke to some of those owners today. Well, guys, the damage here in downtown Minneapolis is done, but the rebuilding and cleanup process is going to take some time. Here's some footage we shot earlier today of some of the hardest hit locations boarding up and salvaging whatever was left in the wake of last night's unrest. Many of these businesses, as you mentioned, have been down here for years and are locally owned. And as we know, have spent the majority of this year trying to recover amid the pandemic. For the most part, downtown Minneapolis was spared during the unrest after George Floyd was killed. And so to see this, some business owners say this is the straw that broke the camel's back, if you will. And they're officially done with downtown. We're just tired of it. Um, and there's, we feel somewhat helpless in terms of like, what can we do to protect the livelihood of the people who work here, as well as them. Walking down the streets of downtown, it's like a ghost town already. And now this happens and it's like, you know, are we going to have any restaurants to stay here? Many of the business owners we spoke with say they were trying to get down here last night to protect their businesses, but because so many of the entry points into downtown were blocked off, they weren't able to. Now, one other cool thing that we saw today, we saw a lot of people out uh, volunteering, helping with some of the cleanup and repair, and it's very evident that this just hasn't just impacted the business owners in this area, but also the people who call this neighborhood home. Back to you. All right, Devon, thank you. Minneapolis